What's up, Internet? Deep South Moto Vlogs coming at you for my first ever Moto Vlog. Well, I guess I guess it's not technically my first ever Moto Vlog. Throughout the past week or so, I've been uh, Moto Vlogging daily. Not even just to practice doing it and get comfortable doing it, but to test out my damn microphone. Look at that Porsche. Woo! Yeah, so I uh, bought some $20 Movo or whatever microphone off Amazon and I figured, oh, it's 20 bucks, it's got pretty good reviews, should be great. Nope, wrong. It was the absolute worst microphone, wrong name. It was the absolute worst microphone ever for motor vlogging. Could not like hear anything past 20 miles an hour, even covered in a finger of a latex glove a styrofoam windscreen and like at least a foot strip of synthetic fur around it still completely <clears throat> destroyed by wind noise which was absolutely infuriating so infuriating that i was about ready to just give up and say fuck it i bought a gopro for no reason and i can't even you know like vlog or do anything with it it was a little disheartening i won't lie uh it was kind of frustrating so i said screw it wait till payday Watched uh, one of Moto Nasi's videos about his setup and the microphone that he used and uh, come to find out he uses uh, Sony something 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 I'll drop it in the description but uh, he recommended it and he said he uses it without a lot of wind noise and it's fucking perfect I'm really stoked like my, my microphone issue is finally over like it's been stressing me out like I'll be sitting at work and I'll just be kind of like stressed out and anxious for no reason and I'm just like oh you know what's causing that Deep South Moto Vlogs and I'll tell myself like oh it's just your microphone setup's bothering you because you don't like it when you can't figure stuff out. It's one of those pride type deals. But yeah so it's great to be uh, finally able to record content that I can share with people and, and just express my thoughts and ideas and show people around my hometown and areas surrounding my hometown and or whatever kind of trips I plan on taking on Millie here in the future. But <clears throat> enough about that. Anyways, today I am out riding at Sunset in wonderful central Alabama, right around Montgomery area. And the weather is fire, like it's perfect outside. And there's only like a week or two out of the year in Alabama that you can say just like, wow, the weather has been consistently perfect outside for a few days. But just the weather the past week or two has been beautiful. Worked eight hours today, got off, hopped on Millie, back in action, stress, just falls off the bike, leaving a clean, pure, unstressed me. And it's a great feels. It's also a great feels to be back on a motorcycle. Like, I'm so happy to be on a motorcycle. I bought my FC09 Millie uh, about two and a half weeks ago, and uh, I've already logged 1100 miles on her. I've been doing lots of random road trips and whatnot just to go and exploring places driving around at that sunset and stuff when the weather's perfect and there's not a lot of people out and it's just been a great great experience like I can finally say for the first time in a long time that I am happy to the core like I feel my happiness so I just want to spread it with people I need to get out of town because the traffic blows so my objective for this ride, I guess, is to get outside the city for a little bit, hopefully before it gets dark, and find somewhere where I can go fast, undisturbed by people and or police, and hopefully cows crossing the road, because that's a thing sometimes in Alabama. But you know. So I know a lot of people are probably uh, familiar with a lot of the stereotypes and uh, things you hear about the South, Alabama in particular, like, oh, from Alabama, they all, you know, drive trucks and drink a lot of Natty Lights and, ooh, FC07, drink a lot of Natty Lights and, you know, wave around rebel flags and just be racist and homophobic all the time, but that's not all of us. But anyways, I guess in uh, a lot of my vlogs, you guys are going to see how true or untrue a lot of the stereotypes about the South are. This asshat's just going to block a lane. Yeah, man, do it. Do your thing, bro. Which way do I want to go? I want to go this way. Whoop. Look at me driving like an asshat now. I just don't know where I'm going. I'm just going where the wind takes me, man. 
Uh, yeah, so I, I finally saved some money and got this puppy a couple weeks ago, and it's just like, it's just changed my life, man. As a, as a person who's formerly depressed and has pretty bad anxiety issues, having a motorcycle, it just, it, it seriously works better for me than any medicine because I feel so free and just unfuckwittable. You know, it's just, it's amazing. Let me do a quick cop check. Whoop. No cops detected. <laughs> so I try not to use the word hate. The word hate, I feel like, if you, if you use it too much, you'll turn, you'll subconsciously turn yourself into a more negative person. But one thing I do hate is minivans. Minivans. I can't stand minivans because they're always going like way slow or way too fast or driving like dickheads or uh, minivans. See what I mean? Uh, I wanted to go faster on this corner and this minivan's dumping on me. Wow, trailer trash. Oh, that's yard sale. <laughs> I'm a douche. I'm a douche. I'm a douche. Now I can go fast. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, minivans, they're always either just driving like idiots, driving like assholes, doing stupid stuff, not paying attention. That's seriously, like I've never had a good encounter with a minivan. They just suck. I hate minivans. And what bothers me more about minivans is most of the people that drive minivans, horse, most of the people that drive minivans, it's like one old lady, one old lady. I mean, maybe, yeah, she has grandkids or something, but probably like two. She can shove those hoes in the backseat of a Camry or something. Like, you don't need a freaking minivan. This road's bumpy. Yeah, you don't need a minivan. That thing is not efficient. It's not economical at all. And it just doesn't make any sense. And not to mention they're ugly and hard to drive. And I'm going to go in Photoshop and I'm going to make a vinyl decal that's like a minivan uh, silhouette or something. It's maybe the cyclist. Hello! It's like a minivan silhouette or something and uh, with like a big like red circle with a cross through it over the minivan as a cop. You know why? Because I hate minivans! That's not why there was a cop. That's why I'm getting the sticker. You see, you, you see what I'm saying. So I guess at some point in time, I will, uh, miata. At some point in time, I'll take you guys out into the real country, out into the sticks, where, uh, you'll find a lot of, uh, people that conform to the typical southern stereotypes. Oh my god, people go. Fuck me, right? I'm just gonna go this way because this is the way that I feel like the wind is taking me. So uh, my new microphone, I told you guys I was having microphone issues. My new microphone is uh, covered in a synthetic wool that I bought from a craft store. And uh, it's very, very, very shabby synthetic wool. And when you cut it, it makes all the split ends and it cuts the hairs and they just get everywhere. Well, uh, long story short, my mouth's full of them. I got one in my eye earlier, and as you'd probably imagine, it wasn't the most pleasant experience that I've ever uh, had to go through in my life. One thing I will say I do love about the South is the greenery in the summertime, or I'm sorry, in the springtime. Literally three weeks ago, shit was brown. Lots of rain came through. And uh, everything turned green, so that's dope. Ugh. My one complaint about this FZ09 my one complaint is that the seat is hard as tits. Seriously, it's so uncomfortable. And the way the bike sits is so upright versus, you know, other sport bikes that you, you're like sitting all the way on your ass and you start to slide forward. And not only is the seat hard, but when you slide forward, if assuming you're a guy and or you have balls if you're a female, I don't know, I don't know you. You're gonna slide forward on your nuts and then you're gonna keep having to adjust yourself at red lights and then people are gonna look at you and parents are gonna cover little Sally's eyes up so she doesn't see the creepy man scratching his nutsack at a red light. Which I tell you what, 
That ain't a fun thing to have to do. Ugh. That awkward, like, get off my bike right there was uh, definitely my balls being so far up, up under me. Vaping at a red light on a motorcycle. How douchebaggy does it get? But I got some fresh Nikes. Damn, Deep South. Back at it again with the fresh Nikes. I'm gonna turn green right when I stop. Every damn time. I need to wash my mouth. Potty mouth a little vape douche on a motorcycle. <laughs> That should be my channel name, Potty Mouth Vape Douche. Cop check. No cops detected. Welcome, folks, to Millbrook, Alabama, I guess. This uh one of the adjacent cities in my tri-county area. Not much of a city though, I mean, they have like a Winn-Dixie, which for those of you who don't know is like the Westerners Smiths, it's like the southern equivalent of it. They have a Winn-Dixie, an Advance Auto Parts, and a fucking KFC. <laughs> don't need a KFC, people. Please don't. This cafeteria, like, it's, it's underfunded district, middle school cafeteria quality food, and it Tastes like boo-boo, and like it tastes, it's gonna make you boo-boo. Last time I ate KFC, man, oh, I felt disgusting. It was at one of those little, uh, like, double fast food joints that were, like, two buildings are in the same building, and they have, like, both menus up at one cash register. It's really confusing, but it was one of those, and I was in uh, Flagstaff, Arizona, I believe, and so like I did like any other American would do and I got some tacos because it was a Taco Bell and a KFC in the same building. I got some tacos <laughs> and some mashed potatoes and some chicken. Uh, within 30 minutes, my stomach was in absolute upheaval towards me. It was not pleased. It just wasn't having any of my shit. It was having none of my shit, but it was giving me the shit. That KFC took none of my shit, but it gave me the shit. I'm talking about like, I could have projectiled six feet Six feet out of the poop chute, man. When if I get pulled over? I'm fucked. Ah, my arch nemesis. Shitty concrete with gravel. Pull my pants out of my ass crack. It's like every stoplight for me. I need some compression shorts or something to keep keep my pants from slipping up into the Great Divide. You know what I'm saying? As 3D machines would say, it's optional. <laughs> My throat be having a tendency to get dry. Yeah. Hope you guys have a gnar day. I hope it's totes gnar gnar. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Next time I go vlogging, I'm going to go out into the sticks and uh, try to see how many big trucks I can count. We're going to call it, uh, we'll call it bumpkin hunting. We're going to go hunting for some bumpkins. But yeah. Pumpkin hunting. Let's do it. Thanks for watching. See ya later.